Hey Scorpio, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our weekend reading for April 30th through May 2nd. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. The heart of your reading, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This might be finances. But the strongest energy that I'm picking up on is that this is about the home. What's the challenge? Something having to do with health and home. Show me the challenge, please. Five of Pentacles. There's some element that's been introduced into your home life that has upset the balance, that has thrown things into chaos, that is changing the landscape. Five of Pentacles means someone might be moving out. Someone might be wanting to leave their job. Or it could be any other element that introduces chaos into your home environment. Show me Scorpio's focus. Knight of Cups. Okay. That's interesting because it feels very happy. Like in the face of circumstances that might depress a lot of people, you're not phased by it. You're feeling confident and self-assured. The Knight of Cups acts on the love in his heart, acts on his emotions. In the recent past, we have Strength in Reverse. Either you or someone close to you has been struggling. Devil in Reverse, Strength in Reverse going through a tough time. This is the chaotic element, potentially the element having to do with health. It might be someone's health is failing and it's causing them to consider leaving their job or causing you to consider moving. Show me the energy of the environment. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Now we're getting down to uh, kind of directing us in the toward um, the topic of a change of career, change of job, change of career. I definitely still feel like health and home are tied in there, though. It's, um... I mean, lives are complex, right? It's not less, less like one element or one facet of our life exists independently of the others. It's all interconnected. And I feel like... It is health impacting the job, impacting the home. But in the midst of all of this turbulence, you're just wanting to act on your heartfelt emotion. 
It's almost like you see this as, um, like you're looking at the silver lining. That this could enable you or the person involved in order to, um, like, switch gears and do something that you love. In the near future, we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is pretty good to see in this context because the Knight of Pentacles gets busy doing what's practical. Like, I see what needs to be done and I'm going to do it, focused on the here and now. Your surprise energy is the Two of Swords. Needing to make an important decision about what? What is Scorpio deciding? Oh, interesting. So when the Two of Swords came out, the Lovers was at the bottom of the deck, and when I asked what the Two of Swords is about, they're giving me the Two of Cups. So it's a decision in a relationship. Okay, so not surprising because we have the Knight of Cups here, what's on your mind, what's at the, the, the forefront of your focus is acting on your love. So mixed up in this whole topic is an important decision that's, gonna, that's coming your way. A choice in love. Show me hopes and fears. Wheel of Fortune. I hope that I'm able to move past this. I hope that everything is happening for a reason, that this is divine timing, that I'm coming to the conclusion of a cycle here. Show me the end result. How do these energies resolve for my Scorpios? Seven of Cups. More options. Optioning, options opening up. It does feel positive. It's a lot to sort through. It's not going to be immediately clear what direction to go, but when you're presented with new options or you come up with new options, it's going to be somewhat of a relief. Like, okay, there's something I can do, and it's showing up as cups, which is what you want. Let's get you some advice. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Now is not the time to prioritize money. Your needs will be met, Six of Pentacles. If you're tempted to make decisions based on maintaining a certain lifestyle, this is asking you to reconsider that factor. Like, um, having everything that you need versus having everything that you want for the short term. Reel it, reel it back in to what do I need? What are my necessities? Versus what are the extras that I can live without? This might have to do with budgeting or, um, like accepting a job with lower pay it's, it's something having to do with shifting priorities financially. Scorpio, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you back on Sunday for the weeklies. Bye.